by the way, television is not the only thing that gives us a lot of problems in everyday living. One of the big problems that most people face is marriage. And there are a lot of couples getting married uh, in the summer here, and we thought we might be able to help these young people avoid some of the pitfalls of marriage. Incidentally, here in California, the pitfalls stay open till 9 o'clock on Monday. <laughs> Monday night for your convenience. Now, strangely enough, in marriage, pitfall number one usually starts at the breakfast table. Oh, uh, oh, darling, I'm ready for breakfast. Here's your newspaper. Thank you, dear. We've got eggs for breakfast this morning. Oh, fine. Eggs are my favorite. How do you want them? Oh, I think I'll have them soft this morning. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, what's wrong with this picture? I think it's certainly obvious. Yesterday's newspaper. <laughs> Toast? Oh, fine. Gee, done to a golden black. <laughs> well, if you don't like the way I toast it, why don't you toast it yourself? Well, I just mentioned that... You know, I'm sick and tired of hearing every morning about the toast for breakfast. Well, I... And did. if I hear another word tomorrow about the toast in the morning... Now, friends, what's wrong with this picture? <laughs> I, uh, I think it's perfectly obvious. She neglected to unplug the toaster from the wall. <laughs> you, uh, you must remember, girls, that you're not going to get much distance unless you remove the plug from the wall. <laughs> uh, very important thing to remember. It's those little things that count. Ah, oh, gee, dear, uh, is the fruit juice ready? Oh, I'll go get it. Oh, you needn't mind. I'll just have the maid bring it in. Oh, Colette. Colette. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, there's nothing wrong with this picture. <laughs> now, that is pitfall number one. Now, pitfall number two in marriage is the large economy size pitfall money. And since a man knows best about these type of things, he's got to take a firm stand. He's really got to put his foot down when it comes to money. Darling, I'm going to be very firm about this matter of an allowance. Well, I'm telling you right now, you're not going to get one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it, dear. Come in. Mother! <laughs> Now, this is pitfall number three, and believe me, this is a problem. Now, you see, for some reason, all mothers-in-law have the attitude that their sons-in-law are nothing but a bunch of stingy, heartless, good-for-nothing bums. Now, this isn't my personal opinion. I've, I've talked this over with 200 other stingy, heartless, good-for-nothing bums. <laughs> but uh, most men make a mistake toward their, uh, you know, relation like this. Uh, they're antagonistic, and that's wrong. You have to be friendly and kind. Well, welcome to our home. I'm so happy to see you, friendly and kind little old lady. You can't fool me, you stingy, heartless, good-for-nothing bum. <laughs> uh, the funny thing is, this is my mother. <laughs> I'll get your bag and take you up to your room. Thank you, dear. <laughs> now, pitfall number four is, uh, is a matter of jealousy. A lot of husbands, you know, get very mad if another man even as much as looks at his wife. Now, this is not fair to your wife. Uh, I think to cure jealousy, uh, a man has got to have confidence, he's got to have understanding, he's got to have sympathy, he's got to have heart. Miles and miles and miles of heart. <laughs> Oh, Poopsie, I'm here. <laughs> Poopsie, I'm a little late. Uh, hello. Oh, oh, well, you're usually gone by this time. <laughs> well, I, I overslept. Oh, well, is uh, Poopsie here? Yes, I'll call her. Oh, uh, Poopsie, the, uh, the milkman is here. Do we need anything? Oh, well, tell Norman I'll be right down. <laughs> Poopsie will be right down, Norman. Mm. <laughs> now, I certainly enjoy meeting the husbands along my route. Well, I, I imagine they feel the same way, Norman. Oh, uh, well. Hello, Norman. Uh -huh. You're right on time. A flagon of calcium to add to your loveliness. And uh, we'd like a, nic a nickel back on the empty flagon, Norman. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'll be leaving. Until tomorrow, Poopsie. Until tomorrow, Norman. Uh -huh.
Now, what does a man do in this situation of jealousy? Does he curb his jealousy? Does he uh, get another milkman? Does he change dairies? Does he start drink a quit drinking milk? Nonsense. He does what any trusting husband would do. He goes out and makes one simple purchase. <laughs> over and introduce ourselves. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, bonjour, Mansour. Uh, J.M.A. Pal, uh, Ethel, and her pal is Mabel. Uh, what is your pal? Uh, my pal is very Jacques. <laughs> Will be good for the maid. Uh, now Ethel say cheese. Cheese. And you should yes, yeah, Jack say fromage. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you take mine. Okay. <laughs> pictures, realism is the byword. Scenes of action and destruction are reproduced so vividly and accurately as to raise the question, is it really make-believe? So now, by exclusive arrangement with National Century Studio, we take you to an actual motion picture lot where the filming of a fight is being prepared. For this catch-up of the news first in motion picture realism, I switch you now to our reporter on a set somewhere at National Century Studio. Hi there, phony fight lovers. <laughs> On the set here at National Century Studios, where you're about to witness a filming of a scene from the new picture, Son of Mr. Roberts. <laughs> the, uh, the two gentlemen standing behind me are actually stuntmen, and they are replacing the stars of the show for this next grueling scene. Now, actually, as it appears to the camera and you television people, it'll appear that they're reflecting great pain, when, as a matter of fact, each punch in the fight is pulled, the furniture is especially prepared to avoid any injury. Gentlemen, would you please demonstrate? a thrilling spectacle. Now, would you be so kind as to take the television audience into your confidence and show them how this entire fight is faked? Why, well, sure. This we call a breakaway bottle. Mm -hmm. It's scored and rigged so it'll come apart part real easily. You can smash it against a man's head and he won't even feel it. Mm -hmm. Like this. Sir, <laughs> I suppose the chair is fixed in the same way to soften the blow. That's right. Just like the breakaway bottle. This is made of balsa. It's real light. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's certainly amazing how you movie people fool the folks at home. I suppose, I suppose the fight, each punch in the fight is pulled and nobody is actually hurt. Is that That's true? That's right. A fight like this, nobody ever gets hurt. Mm -hmm. Now here, I'll show you how it's done. Put it in the guard. Mm -hmm. 